Misha and welcome back to another painting video. Okay, as you can tell by the title, today we're gonna paint some more Studio Ghibli scenes and this time it's gonna be from Spirited Away. Oh yeah, before I forget, I just wanna give a quick update on the competition slash 1k contest. So. Today is the deadline and I'm gonna be looking at it today and throughout the weekend to be able to decide who the winners are gonna be and then I still have to edit the video and just like figure out how to do all of this so the winners will be announced next week in my video. Okay, and throughout the video, you're gonna see me switching between two angles. So one of them is for my camera that's from the top, and the side angle is actually from my phone because I realized that my little iPhone actually takes pretty high quality videos. So I thought I could do some close up with it, although it takes up a lot of space whenever I do that. But I hope you still enjoy the close up that I'm doing. And before even starting the painting, I had to do a rough sketch, and the rough sketch took me so long. As you can tell, I kept going back and forth and then erasing to make sure the lines were where it was supposed to be but it made it easier that I had a picture in front of me and the sketching was going pretty well until I reached the hand and ah, uh, the hands I don't know if you can relate to me but every time I had to draw someone like or anyone the hands is always the hardest part to draw but it was kind of funny to draw it here anime style because they make it look so cute the way they hold their fingers and it's all like ooh. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I mean, but anyway, I think it might be just in my head. All right, let's just move on before this gets awkward. satisfied with the sketch I finally moved on to the painting and I can see now that my camera was slowly moving oh there you go I think it's just stopped but yeah I wanted to give you just like a quick close-up of what I was doing and one of the things that attracted me to this painting was the flowers that was on the side and then I realized that I was doing two paintings at the same time and I didn't have that much time to paint so it was kind of hard to put that much detail, so you're gonna see it kind of look like blobs. But in the end, it's gonna look like well put together blobs, okay? <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm hoping it's gonna look like. And I know that the flower doesn't look exactly like the picture, but I was just trying to get the colors kind of similar just to catch the same feeling. Catch the same feeling? Okay, well English is not actually my first language so sometimes I kind of struggle with words because I think of the word in like four different languages and I'm thinking what language am I actually speaking in right now so please bear with me on that, on my voiceovers. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying my best here but I hope that you're enjoying the visual. <laughs> But anyway, I was just having fun playing around with the colors and I was jamming to my music and oh, you want to guess what music I was listening to? Okay, comment down below what you think I was listening to. Just just do it right now. I'll I'll wait. All right, maybe you guessed it right or maybe you didn't, but I was actually listening to Studio Ghibli Lo-Fi. <laughs> oh yeah. You can check it out. It's on YouTube. They have several playlists. I usually just listen to it when I'm painting or studying.
And finally, after adding the leaves, I went back to add some more pink and white to make the flowers pop some more. So yeah, now let's just go into painting the characters. And since I didn't put too much detail in the flower, I wanted to put details in the character themselves. And to get the skin tone, I mixed some yellow, white, red, brown, and a little bit of orange. And then just like try to figure out which color worked the best. I don't really have like a set guide to how I get skin tone. I basically just mix it and see if it looks good. And then I add more colors that I think it needs. So if you want me to do a tutorial how I get skin tones, let me know down below and maybe I'll do a video next time. Oh yeah, and I totally messed up when I was sketching the sleeves. It didn't look right. I missed like the bottom part of it, but I'll eventually find it out and try to fix it. Doesn't look as perfect, but yeah. <laughs> See, I told you, I don't like painting measured stuff. So this is what happened when I try to do it. And I finally move on to painting the guy's shirt slash kimono. I'm not sure what it's called, but even if it was white, it's still was kind of hard for me to get the colors right and as you can tell i just kept layering and layering and layering and layering Oh yeah, I covered the mouth at this point because I thought that it was too high up but I'll eventually come back and fix it once it's dried. Oh yeah, that looks better now. that I'm using a normal pen it's just I, I ran out of ink from my micro pen and I didn't have the chance to buy it so I'm just using this pen but in my defense it's a gel pen I think <laughs> so I could get away from using it it doesn't look as bad does it I hope not Alright, I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me. Let me know what you thought about the painting in the comments down below. And don't forget to click on the notification bell because next week I'm gonna upload a fun video. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Alright, before I go, see how in the scene she's running behind him? Well, when I take my sketchbook and I close it, she's basically behind him right now. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, it's just like the scene, but now it's in my sketchbook. Alright, I'm done making no sense. Allez, bye!